Hi everyone, welcome back to Cooking with uh, Gina Bug. Um, I just want to uh, thank everyone for joining me in this video today. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cooking with a wok. This is a wok and we're going to be doing stir frying it today. What I've done is I've taken my wok and I have lined it with olive oil and vinegar. One tablespoonful of olive oil and one tablespoon of vinegar. That's what I put in it. And I'm just going to let it sit here and just kind of um, sit in my wok. And I have taken four cups of hot water. I brought it to a bowl here for my rice. And I've used half of a stick of butter uh, in here and salt and pepper. That's all that's in here. And I brought it to a bowl. That's to put our rice in. You want to make sure always that your um, water is it comes to a boil before you, you introduce your rice to it. And we're going to come over here and we're going to make our vegetables and we're going to put it into the wok and we're fixing to get started. I'm excited. Now. Okay guys, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our vegetables. I have taken asparagus. I've got about uh, a bunch of, you, did you buy at the grocery store, of asparagus. That's what I have. And I'm going to take those first. I'm just going to cut them up. I've already broke the ends off of them. And I'm just going to, I showed you in the asparagus uh, video how to uh, break your asparagus apart. So now all I'm doing is taking the broken asparagus and I'm, uh, I'm chopping it into fours pretty much. I'm going to put it in my bowl. I have Brussels sprouts. I'm just going to half. You can buy Brussels sprouts anywhere. Frozen, fresh, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to half them. Put them in my bowl. The main ingredients here is, uh, I know uh, kids are not going to like it, but it's onions. The reason it is is because onions dis dissipate. They go away, but they leave a really good taste to your food. So we're going to cut these up and just chop them just like this. Um, depending on how many you like. I like a lot of onions. That's probably enough there. Put that in there. And we're going to move to our broccoli. I need my snow blower. All right, we're going to move to our broccoli. And we're going to cut our broccoli up. Now you can put as much of these ingredients as you want uh, of each in there. Um, if you like more broccoli or if you like more uh, onion, whatever you want to put in your stir fry is fine. It's, it's uh, my preference. I love broccoli. so. And this is just a tip. The more you cut broccoli, the stronger it gets. I don't know if you know that, but the more you cut it, the stronger it gets when you cut it. Now I'm going to get my snow blower. I'm going to rake it up. I had a friend from the north ask me um, what I knew about a snow blower since I live in the south. I don't know where I got that from, but it stuck with me, so that's what I'm going to call it. And then I have my shallots. Shallots are very important um, for your um, stir fry. If you've ever been to Makata's or you've been anywhere, Chinese restaurant, you, they've always got shallots in there, always. It's a sweet, tangy taste. And this is just one shallot, just one small shallot that I'm adding. 
And then we're going to move to our carrots. And all I'm going to do is splice whole carrots once, kind of just mangle them up a little bit. I'm not going to cut them up real deep. Um, just like that. And that was just about, um, I'd say about seven carrots. I just buy a bag of them from the local Piggly Wiggly. <clears throat> and we've got our cauliflower. Now cauliflower is a superfood, so I'm probably going to use a lot of cauliflower as much as I can use in here because I love cauliflower. And I'm going to tell you just a little tip about cauliflower. You can, um, you can make cauliflower mashed potatoes and your kids will never even know it is cauliflower mashed potatoes. That's how good these are. Uh, if, you, if you whip them like mashed potatoes, your kids will love them. I did this with Riley one time and uh, made some and he didn't even know it was cauliflower. And it's so much better for him. And if you're on a diet, this is the thing you want to use. Okay. And then we're going to have our tomatoes. It's our last one. I have got these beautiful tomatoes from, um, Park, uh, from Harmon's um, Family Farms. And I'm just going to cut them up. Here in Opelika. And they're gorgeous tomatoes. And I've done um, half of a um, yellow or orange, yellowish orange. I've done half of one of these. And then I've done half of a red. That's what I did. And I'm going to put that in there. And then <clears throat> that's all your vegetables except for your garlic. Now, if y'all remember, I taught y'all how, um, how to do your garlic. So we're going to do our garlic. We're going to put it in there. You can't have stir fry without garlic. We're going to take our garlic. And peel it. And this is actually... I, I'm going to use half a clove in here because garlic is very strong. Remember I told you all that. And the best thing to do is to smash it to get the, the outside of it off. That's the easiest way to peel it. And then all we're going to do is cut it up. See how easy that is? Kind of aggravating, but it's all worth it. You can also buy minced garlic, but it's not as good. And I'm going to cut this garlic up, and I'm going to put it in here. Okay. All right, so I use two cloves. Two of these cloves is what I used for my garlic. And you can add as much as you want. Um, if it doesn't taste like you want it to, you can always come back later. I've already got some garlic that's, um, that's been cooked that I'm going to put in there that I had from the melting pot. So I'm probably going to put four cloves into my stir fry. And then this is, a, this is a very big tip. This is a rind from... Um, this is uh, cheddar cheese. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, my zester and I'm going to zest the rind over on top of it. Not the cheese, just the rind. Just like this. You want to just zest the rind over on top of it. If you buy um, good cheese at Kroger or Publix or wherever that you buy your cheese, Always keep this rind because it's got a lot of benefits to it. it. Gives a lot of taste. We don't want to put cheese in it right now because it, all it'll do is melt and cause the um, the vegetables to burn. You just want to do the rind. That's all I'm doing: is zesting the rind. See that? 
And then last but not least is our pineapple. I got these pineapple from Kroger. I just bought a pack that were already done, uh, not the big pineapple, just I was lazy and just got some that were already cut up. And we're gonna throw that on top of it. We're gonna mix it together, just like this. And then we're going to move it over, over to our wok. Okay, guys, we, we cut all our vegetables up. What we're going to do is we're going to put them in our wok. Um, I have got my wok on medium high. Remember, we put um, one tablespoon of, veg I mean, of uh, olive oil and one tablespoon of white vinegar in here. And we're going to add our vegetables to it, just like this, that we just cut up. We're going to cover it for three minutes. And while that's, do, uh, while that's cooking for three minutes, then we're going to cut it off and cut up our meat. We're going to add our rice. And the important thing about rice is you don't add it all at one time. You add just a little bit at a time. You should have a rolling bowl. Then you move it around like this. If you don't, you get that clump of rice in it. Gonna make sure it's separated. This is two cups of rice, of white rice. Move it around. Okay, and then put the rest of it in there. This is, uh, like I said, two cups. And it should be on medium high, a rolling bowl. And we're gonna cover it back up. You want to let it cook for about five minutes. Then we'll come back to it. Okay, guys, it's been cooking for three minutes on medium, uh, about medium high. And what you want to do before we add our meat is stir it around. Um, you want to add your one tablespoon full of Worcester sour sauce. Get a, let me get a spoon. That ain't coming out too good. Put all that in there. Your one tablespoon full of Worcester sour sauce. One tablespoon. And one tablespoon full of um, soy sauce. One tablespoon full of red vinegar. The red white vinegar that you cook with. One tablespoon full of white vinegar. And you're going to stir this around. And I'm going to introduce you to a new sauce that I'm going to put in here. This is um, the oyster flavor sauce. This is for stir fry. And I'm just going to add just a, just a little bit on top of it like this. Just kind of like this. And you can find this on Amazon. It's really good. It makes your stir fry really good. You're going to mix this around and you're going to cook it for an additional five minutes while you're cutting up your meat. That's what we're going to do. And while the rice is cooking. Get it all mixed in together. Woo, this is going to be so good. Okay, I'm going to cover it back up. I'm going to cook it for another five minutes and set the timer for five minutes. Okay, and we've come back over here. I wanted to show y'all, this is my seasoning blend that I get from Piggly Wiggly. Um, it's got um, peppers and bell peppers, red peppers, onions, uh, all kinds of spices that you need in there. I take about two cups of this and put it into um, my stir fry and a small piece of ginger. I've, um, I've taken the skin off of it. And just a really, really small piece. Just, you know, ginger is very strong. So we're just going to chop this real tiny, real tiny. We don't want, we don't want a strong ginger taste. We just want enough in there that we can, we know it's there. It just gives it a little sweet taste. And we're going to put it on our little scooper. I'm going to put it in our little bowl. And then we're going to take our grater and we're going to use our Parmesan cheese. This is fresh Parmesan cheese that I got from Kroger. I got just a little bitty block and we're just going to grate it down <clears throat> as much as we can. 
you need quite a bit of it in there. So don't hurt your knuckles like I have. That's about enough right there. So that looks good. And then we're going to add our two cups of our seasoned blend that I got. Um, it's just, like I said, it's just un chopped onions, chopped red pepper, and chopped bell pepper. That's all it's in here. So we're going to put this in here. Two cups. We're going to kind of mix this together. You can use your hands. I do as long as they're clean. Mix it together with your cheese and your ginger. <clears throat> And then we're going to use our Zydeco Chop Chop. You can find this on Amazon. We're going to use one tablespoon full of Zydeco Chop Chop. I'm putting that in there. One full tablespoon. I'm going to mix that together. Get it all mixed in really good. And we're going to add half a stick of butter. Now, I don't have a half a stick of butter. I'm using my uh, melted butter that I got from Amazon. So I'm just going to string along, string along like I always do. Mix that in there. And we're going to add salt and pepper. Mix it together and add salt and pepper. And then we'll have all our vegetables done. Let me wash my hands. We'll have all our vegetables done for our stir fry because you want plenty of salt and pepper in here. So twist it. And our, um, our timer's going off after five minutes. Have to get over and get to that. Make sure you put plenty of salt in this and salt it very well. Depending on how much salt you can have, mix it together. And we're gonna take this over here to the stove and put it in here because our timer's going off. Okay, we're gonna put this in here because our timer went off into our vegetables. You wanna cook your vegetables a little bit longer than you do, you do your meat. I know that sounds kinda weird, but once you put your meat in here, it's gonna cook probably in a couple of minutes, but you want to get your vegetables cooked really good in these sauces. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this timer with all of our vegetables like this because you do not need the seasoning from your meat for a stir fry because you already have all this. So we turned our rice off. Our rice is done um, after uh, 15 minutes. We turned it off and I just put it over to the side. Keep your lid on your rice. It'll continue to cook it and make it soft. 15 minutes, all my water has uh, drained out of it. So we got it all stirred together. Now you want to get all of this, you see this water on the bottom of my hand? It's not water, but it's all our sauces. You want that just about gone before you put your uh, meat in there. So we're going to set our timer for seven minutes. And in seven minutes, we'll put our meat in. Okay, we've got our rice uh, that uh, we've got cooling and we've got our vegetables cooking. Now we need to get with our meat. Um, I just got some chicken tenders and some pork chops from the pig, our local Piggly Wiggly. Make sure you put your meat on a plastic cutting board. Do not put it on bamboo or anything like that. It's hard to get it off. I made the mistake of doing that. Then you had to put peroxide on it to get the germs off of it. So what we're gonna do telling me that my vegetables are done over there so I'm gonna cut that off and just uh, get our meat cut and you just want to cut this um, however you want to cut it I cut it in chunks like this I've got about five chicken tenders here that I got from Piggly Wiggly five you don't want to have them too big because this is stir-fry so you're going to make sure that your tenders and have a very sharp knife. Don't cut your finger like I've done. Make sure you've got little chunks like this. You'll get more seasoning out of the chicken. If they're the smaller they are, the more flavor you'll get. Okay? And then we're going to move it over to our bowl. 
And then we're gonna move, we're gonna wash mine off. And we're gonna do our pork chops. Let me wash my knife off if I get chicken on it. Okay. Then we're gonna move to our pork chops. I'm real funny about chicken. Got two pretty um, pork chops from the pig. I'm gonna cut the bone out of it, and I'm gonna save these bones right here because I'll put this in um, in some beans. So, and cook it. <clears throat> like I cooked those um, pink-eyed peas the other day that y'all seen on my page. Well, I'll use that and cook some more. So I'm gonna cook this, cut this bone away. I'm gonna save the bone for my, my peas. And then we're gonna do the, the pork chops the same way. I'm gonna cut this fat off here because this is stir fry. You don't need this fat. You can save it um, for your peas. That's what I'm gonna do. You don't want any fat in your stir fry. I'm just gonna break it apart. Cut this fat away just like this. Cut it in, uh, cut it in little cubes. Just like that. And make sure you cut all your fat away because you don't want no fat in there. And then we're going to put it in with our chicken. We're going to move this to, our, our timer went off, so we're going to go over and move this to our, um, our wok that's ready. All right, first thing I'm going to do, like I always do, is I'm going to salt my meat really good. You know how much salt you can have. So I don't need to tell you, but make sure you put plenty of pepper in there and get some strong pepper like this peppercorn pepper. And we're gonna mix it together. I'm gonna just move it over here into our wall, just like this. Just like that. Stir our meat around into our vegetables that are smelling delicious. Just move your meat around. You get a little bit of beef and a little bit of chicken when you use pork and um, chicken. Uh, or pork, not beef. But um, you can use beef tips, anything in this. You could put a hot dog weenie in here and it'd be good. You're gonna cook this on medium low for 15 minutes. You're gonna get all of that the juices that you put in there, all the spices, everything you put in there, you're gonna, that's gonna cook out. You don't have to worry about it burning, it's a walk. And let me tell you, um, this is a Helen, <coughs> a Helen Chin um, that I got from Amazon, this walk. And you'll find this on my page. And I got this nice little, um, this nice little uh, spatula with it um, that you can use. So, Whenever it gets done, I'm going to use this to get all my vegetables out and my meat, but um, to put in my plates. But this, you can find this on my um, on my page at the end of this video through Amazon. It's a nice little accessory to cooking, guys. Y'all will love this. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to set our timer for 15 minutes, and we're going to move to our rice. All right, we've had our rice over here cooling. And you should have this kind of a mushy like this, just like this. We cooked this for um, 20 minutes on medium high, and we put our water in and our butter and our salt and pepper first. We had a ro rolling boil before we added our rice, and we put it in gradually, remember? So it should look like this, just like that. You're going to add, first thing you're going to do is cut your, your stove back on to medium high and get your stove back warm. You're gonna drizzle butter on top of it. String it along, make sure you cover all the top of it, just like this, just like so. You wanna make sure it's completely covered, which is about half a stick of butter. Make sure you get good butter. Don't, uh, don't get that cheap stuff. Don't get that eight five because it, it, it just messes up your, um, your entrees. I'm gonna mix that around. 
and you're going to add your salt and pepper. However much you need, you know. And that. Okay. And then one cup of water. That's what I have here. And you're just going to kind of roll it around just like this. Mix it together. Just like this. I only use half a cup. I got all the water out of my rice. My rice was completely dry and it was done. So now it's a little mushy again like this. And we're, because what we're going to do is we're going to add this fried rice seasoning mix that you can get at Piggly Wiggly, Publix, Kroger, Bilo, at your grocery, anywhere at your grocery store. Just, just some seasoning mix for fried rice. And we're going to add this. We're just going to gently put it over the top of our rice. A little bit at a time and stir it in. Just like this. Just a little bit at a time. You don't want to put it all in there. You'll get big clumps of it on some rice and the others won't get covered. Just string it along. String it along, string it along. Just like that. Mix it together. Just like that. Make sure your um, temperature is on medium high. Just like this. You're going to let this sit with that cup of water and butter, salt, and pepper for two minutes covered. For two minutes covered. So we already got this set, so we're just going to, um, we're going to set the, uh, we'll set the thing for the uh, microwave. So in two minutes, we'll know that this is ready. All right. <clears throat> Our timer went off on the microwave. This has been cooking for two minutes. You hear it sizzling. That's what you want. All right, what you want to do is make a little bird's nest right here, right in the middle. See this? Right in the middle of your um, rice. See that? And we're going to add two eggs and right in the middle of it. Two eggs. Make sure you got a little bird's nest, just like that. I'm going to add two. And you're going to let them sit there. You're going to let them sit there. You're not going to mess with them. You're just going to let them sit there for another two minutes. So you're going to set your timer again for two minutes. And in two minutes, we'll, met, we'll uh, come back to it. <clears throat> All right, our timer's going off after two minutes putting our eggs in there. Let's see what this baby looks like. Oh, yeah. So then you're just going to mix it around. Don't get burned. Mix your eggs around. You want that frying um, sound. That's good. That's what you want. You want it to continue to do that too. Ooh, this is going to be good. See, it made your eggs real thick. It made your rice real thick. That's what you want with fried rice. Okay? All right. We're going to cook this for another two minutes, and it will be done. You got a little water and stuff still in there? We need to get all that out. So we're going to put this back on our timer for two more minutes. So six minutes complete, completely, for all these steps. So two minutes, we'll be done. All right, we're about 15 seconds. We'll take the top off, stir it around. Oh, that looks so good. You want to hear that sound. I know it sounds like you're burning it, but you're not. That water, there it goes. Okay, we're going to turn off our eye. And then <clears throat> we've got a walk over here. It's got about one minute left. Well, two minutes left, and it'll be done. So what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to get our uh, rice up, put it on our plate. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. This is better hot. Everything is better hot. I'm going to flatten it down just like that. And I like to add a little salt and pepper to mine on the top of it. 
before I put my vegetables on it. I'm going to top off. A little salt and pepper on it. Okay. And then we're going to add... We've got like one minute left. And that's why I like this, um, this spatula. It drains anything out of it and you just throw everything on top just like this. If you want the juice from it, you can put it, this is what I do for my husband, because he loves it, is I just scoop him a little bit up um, in a uh, separate thing here. And you can serve it with it, just like this. There you go. That's beautiful. And this is stir fry with chicken and pork. And uh, if you have any questions on how to do this or you need any help or, or um, anything, you can text me or uh, <clears throat> email me or message me on Facebook anytime you want to. I'll be glad to help you with any tips or anything you need uh, help with. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to get... Um, my husband and try this to see if he likes it. All right, Brad. Try that and see if you like it. And there's our timer for our walk. So we're done. All right, Brad, let's try this and see if you like it. Yeah. Gonna be hot. Ooh, it looks so, so be good. careful. Oh be careful. Goodness, so good. <laughs> uh, oh. I didn't say this, but continue to keep your rice on there until your stove um, mm. goes lukewarm. It's fine. The longer you cook your rice, the better it is. It's fine. Absolutely. Is it good? Absolutely. Great. Thank you for joining Cooking with Gina Bug. Um, I appreciate um, you coming and watching this video. Please. Um, share, like, and follow this video so you can get future recipes. And um, I just appreciate all the support and everybody coming and watching my videos. Um, God bless you and have a good day. All right. All right. We were going to do it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Lights. Because I forget them a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Cameras. They're all turned on. standing right in front of me. Yeah, move your butt out of the way. Thank you for watching Cooking with Gina Bug. Please remember to follow so you don't miss out on any future episodes.